Welcome to the Logic Bank's alternative guide to building a gaming channel. Getting that first thousand subscribers and of course that first 4,000 hours in watch time. It's an alternative guide because instead of doing everything right or the correct way of doing things, I did practically everything wrong. There are uh, very few things I did right. One of the things I did do right though and is something I would advise you to do is this is not my original Google account. This is a Google brand account. So this account here is pure uh, Rise of Kingdoms or pure the game I play. The only subscribers I have on this brand account are other Rise of Kingdoms uh, YouTube channels. So there's one thing I did do right. But let's get into the things that I did wrong. Let's have a look at my first two videos where I did a walkthrough of one of the events in my game. First thing I did, you'll notice it's I abbreviated my game title. So I called it Rock instead of Rise of Kingdoms. The problem with using abbreviations, it made it harder for YouTube to know what I'm about or what I was doing. I didn't do a thumbnail. Uh, I didn't edit the videos at all. Uh, I in fact didn't even know how to put the two videos together uh, because my uh, screen recorder cut out halfway through so I ended up with two parts as well and nobody watched these videos but why would they watch these videos when you first start your gaming channel you have uh, zero hours watched and your watch time try and think of it like your credit history with a bank do they want to lend money with you when they can't see that you've been doing anything of the right things like paying bills and such like so when you first start your Rise of Kingdom, what your gaming channel, you are going to fail at first. But you've got no credit history. But anyhow, I started and this was my start. It failed. I don't know where these views have come from at the time or for the first year. I don't know how long it took them to get 100 views. But I suspect that some of my current viewers have scrolled back and had a look at these at some point. The next video I made was one of my nephews was into gaming channels that were doing speedruns. So I thought I'd try and do a speed run. I spent a huge amount of time putting a little clock in the corner and played the game for half an hour. And again, this video failed completely. But interestingly, it now has 5.5 thousand views, which in for a small gaming channel is pretty good. I suspect these views have come from that YouTube or the algorithm knows that speedruns are popular. It also knows that uh, within the search terms of the game I play, people tend to search for gaining power fast. Thus a speed run has somehow got into the algorithm and has somehow got some views. So that's interesting, but also interesting that a video can completely fail. But as you go on, uh, if the algorithm picks the video up and thinks it has some value, it can start to grow at a later date. So don't be upset if your first few videos completely fail, like I've said they're going to, that they can get picked up by the algorithm if there is something within them. Uh, it's also obviously very rare for this type of game for someone to attempt to speedrun. It doesn't even really make any sense because of the type of game it is and the way that the, the strategy uh, has clocked, clock counters for buildings, but someone has found some interest. The next videos I've got here, still no thumbnails of course, Rise of Kingdoms New Player Help. One of the reasons I started this account or this, this YouTube channel is people would continuously ask me questions. How did you do this? Why are you this? How are you so far ahead of me? Um, how have you already done that? So my first few videos were really in response to rather than having to type out answers to other people within the game. I was making these videos so that I could then send the, vi the video and uh, help them that way. Rise of Kingdoms Guild help. So I think I got in the leadership and this was trying to send a video that I sent out to my alliance and asked them to do things or, or to help them help the alliance. Again, these of course failed completely and haven't been picked up by the algorithm. But what is interesting though is... Uh, I'm clearly playing a game where people talk and there is a community. So be very careful. Has your game got a community? Do people ask you questions? 
because if they ask you questions and you know the answer then maybe you've got a youtube video there let's keep going there's a common question you especially if you're in a newer alliance uh, a new alliance that people say how do i teleport to the base so i made a video and for me that one did quite well i think that might be my first video over 100 views because it was obviously a common question whoa then we just keep in these are like the early game tips how do i start a new account on a different server now i think this video is more interesting so obviously i had no subscribers and i had no views so i went to social media and facebook was dead for my game i don't understand about this discord or tiktok or any of that because i'm an old man but I did know about Reddit, and Reddit had quite a large community of Rise of Kingdoms player, and somebody asked this question, and I made this video, and then put it as a response, uh, which is, well, may have brought one subscriber to my uh, uh, my my um, channel, but so I started to reach out onto Reddit to try and build a bit more of a following. Now, Woe Party Central Guild is where I started to use the in-game community to build my channel. So the account I had failed, I started a new account, but I had some friends on this account, in-game friends. And they were really, my first 20 to 30 subscribers came from in-game friends. Of course, if you play a game that doesn't have any community, or nobody ever chats in Alliance, or it's very difficult to get into a top Alliance, then that might not work for you, but luckily I was playing a game that did have a strong community, even in the weaker alliances. Again, teleport help. Um, obviously, I updated the video I had. I was hoping for a, another early viral video for your YouTube channel is, of course, 100 views, but didn't get it the second time there. Rise of Kingdoms, five important center fortress placement tips. Interesting. So this one got into the algorithm. So it's a bit of an obscure um, obscure niche um, thing you may need to know in the game. Only very few people would be placed in a center fortress. But uh, I think what you've got to learn from this video is that um, your game will have niches within it. Little things that people are doing, perhaps they are doing speed runs, perhaps they are in leadership. And really, if you can tag into one of these niches first, it can then help you later. Because, of course, if you go for a topic that all the big YouTubers in your space are doing, you will be totally sunk and nobody will ever see your video. This is more about the Woe Party Central Alliance. Uh, some of the battles we had. Again, I'm not picking up here, but it was fun. And I enjoyed making these videos. Uh, this one here is one of my first videos where I did edit. And look, it's got a kind of like a screen there. But that's not a thumbnail. That just happens to be one of the screens from within the video. But again, that bomb. I also added the internal music to that one. So no talking on that one. Now, talking is important. I have a few friends that are trying to start YouTube channels. What I want you to think about the talking on your channel is, well, at one time, YouTube used to ask you to type in keywords for your video, but now it can transcribe everything you say. So speaking clearly, having your the volume of your speakers at 100, not speakers, of your mic at 150% so that people can hear what you're saying is really important because if you speak clearly and you speak not in uh, acronyms like the rock and things like this you say rise of kingdoms when you're talking about rise of kingdoms that the youtube um, algorithm can transcribe what you've said pick out the important words uh, i try to do a bit of combat this is all failing rise of kingdom the kill event uh Again, this is just early stuff. Uh, that alliance then failed and I started a new alliance. So here I am trying to feed subscribers into my channel from the alliance that I was in in the game. So bad omen. Oh my goodness. 
It was a great little alliance, and we made some great friends there, but we got absolutely smashed. Rise of Kingdoms gained experience fast. This was, again, in response to a question that was asked on Reddit. Now, this is when my channel, I found my niche. So I started to recognise, or YouTube told me that when I mentioned 1.5 million, uh, I was getting views on my channel. So there's lots of management information that YouTube giving you. So 1.5 million was uh, something within the game is a, a landmark within my game where you can get a reward if you can get this within the first week of play. And it's where I started to build my channel because nobody was making content for the 1.5 million reward. Now, this um, got into the algorithm and it's got into the algorithm quite well because it's a popular search that wasn't being serviced by other YouTubers. I'm still not putting thumbnails, I'm still not editing, uh, and I'm making very short videos, but I hit on something here. But the information came from YouTube. Uh, I obviously was talking about the 1.5 million and I could see people were then responding to it or I was getting views. What is power, possible power for a free to play in the first week? So I'm starting to find my niche here. Uh, free to play, gaining power fast, 1.5 million. These are the search terms that are starting to build my channel. I maybe have a couple of hundred subscribers now, or well, maybe a hundred. Rise of is pushing the limit of free to play in the first week. So these are starting to get interest. Uh, are starting to get more comments and starting to chat with people. I now find the, the 1.5 million, or to get the 1.5 million, led me into my jumper niche. Now, jumper might not need anything to you if you're not a Rise of Kingdoms player, but it's a niche within the game where you can start or restart your account in a certain manner. But I went to one of the big YouTubers, I won't name him, I watched his 28 minute video on jumping or jumper accounts, and I said to myself, I can do better. Or it just wasn't what I was looking for. And this is where I started making content that I wanted to see. So again, this has no talking in it in this video, but the title here was strong enough to get it into the algorithm because people will, will I say, and you see I've stopped using the abbreviation rock and I've got rise of kingdoms. How important to mind, da, 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 da. again, just a failed video. I'm still learning the game myself. Now, this is really interesting. <laughs> so I got a pad of paper and I planned out my next jumper account. And I put this up on Reddit and lots of people uh, were, were, were very negative about it. But actually, a few people stood up for me and they said, no, this is, this is good stuff. This is stuff that I said some things in this video that other people weren't saying. And that's a really powerful statement that I've just said there. I was saying things in this video that other Rise of Kingdoms creators weren't saying. And that, and the algorithm was, the YouTube algorithm was clever enough to identify that there was value in this video for people, even experienced jumpers, started to would perhaps debate or comment. I know it's only got 15 comments, but um, also this video got a comment from one of the larger YouTubers. Um, one of the, I, I believe, 12-inch PvP penis. He commented on this video, who's a, who's a large, or in the space to me, a large YouTuber. And that's interesting because I then got... Um, if you think that within the algorithm there are community leaders and for them to comment on your video suggests there's value in the video. 
uh, who these community leaders are, it, it could just be players, it could be someone who watches a huge amount of Rise of Kingdoms content, but of course it could also be the large, uh, the people with large numbers of subscribers, because as far as uh, the algorithm is concerned, they know what they're talking about, so to comment on my video was a huge plus. Now, jumper strategy, 20 gold heads using the past glory. Now this is where the jumper strategy already existed, but I started to put my own twist on it. I started to do something that can no longer sadly be done in the game, but I started, I changed the jumper strategy to the past glory jumper strategy. This is when I started to get uh, traffic coming in from discords. So with my game, there'll be groups of people restarting their account using the jumper strategy, and I managed to start getting picked up in discords where this video was being shared. Because 20 gold heads has a value of 20 pounds in real money. Um, so this would this is real interest. If you think a jumper strategy used to be worth, you know, uh, like 100 pounds worth of bundles in account. But the past glory jumper strategy done to a high level was worth maybe £250 worth of bundles. You're not having to buy them. You're just using tactics to get almost real money value for your account. So this is where I've started to get a product that uh, I was making my name for myself within a niche in the game as a bit of a jumper expert. Sunset set in a trap. Uh... Again, I'm still learning that. I'm not an expert on that yet. <coughs> Jumper setup checklist. Again, this is now into my niche. I'm starting to get some views. I'm starting to get some likes. I'm starting to get some interaction. I'm still not putting thumbnails. I'm still not editing. But here I is. I had a go at editing and um, I did skill damage guide. And it's pretty good. Um, you know, a nine four five hit turns into a three seven two two hit, doing various different things. But for some reason, this video bombed, and it upset me because this took me a huge amount of time to edit, make the thumbnail, and everything. So, I kind of learned my lesson there that maybe, um, well, YouTube told me that's not what people wanted, and it's not working. Uh, I even tried to promote it on Reddit a little bit, but it wasn't what people wanted. It's fantastically important. It will make you a much better player, but it isn't what people wanted. They were searching for jumper stuff. Uh, again, although this has got 2,800 hits, so maybe this has fallen into the algorithm. The expedition within my game is a hugely important part, that's, but it's just not very well searched. How fast can you get T4? Again, this kind of jumps into the jumper that I was turning myself into an early game expert. Ideas to improve the customer journey. Well, that's just insane. I literally made that for the developers. <laughs> so, so nobody was interested in that. But what you've got to do is YouTube will tell you if nobody's interested. And you've just got to accept it and move on. So I didn't do that again. I think I did. Maybe I did. But sometimes I make videos for myself. And I work within customer journey of new or, or various products. So it was interesting to me. Uh, farm accounts. Basic planning for hitting the 1.5 million. So really this was my next smash hit. Again, this is just me writing on a pad of paper and video in it. But clearly... Again, I was saying things that other creators weren't saying. I was bringing something new or I was going against what was considered the right thing to do. And I was, uh, even I believe one of the top YouTubers said the 1.5 million is not possible for free to play. So I was really hitting on something that was growing my channel. Uh, quick hits, how to create a jumper account. That's just answering a question on Reddit. <coughs> Quick tips how to unlock all commander skills at level 10. Um, so these are my quick tip ideas. These are trying to get into the algorithm. That's uh, reviewing things. So these battle videos 
you don't stand a chance until you've got to follow him with some types of content. Let's keep going. Right, jumper strategy. Again, can jumpers kill marauders? So this is where I'm answering questions. So uh, I think maybe, as you say, I'm responding to questions that are being asked or making the content. Uh, my view is if one person's asking it or if I'm asking it, other people will be asking it because I didn't know if jumpers could kill marauders. Here's the answer. So, I mean, 700 views at the time. Oh, that, that was pretty good. Forcing Martel. This should have had a lot more views. No longer possible to do. Uh, but I didn't name it right. Or people weren't... I'm surprised people weren't searching how to get more Martel gold heads. I, I Somehow something went wrong and that video didn't pick up. Trigger an anomalous aid. Uh, free to play strategy double. Collect monuments. So again, this is all early game content. Now, here we go. This is where... Up until now, you'll, you'll notice that, uh, being an old man, I thought YouTube is just a tool. You don't know how to do something in-game, you find my channel, it gives you the answer. But here, I started to do something different. It's like a vlog, really, following me playing the game. So, uh, and as you say, as I, I was going... I think some people were asking me for more in-depth guide of, of my jumper... And it started this vlog style, which uh, this first vlog was really successful. And I went into absolute minute detail of how I was making these jumpers. And although the numbers start to tail off in the later videos, there are definitely people that watch these. And they really, really helped bump up my hours. So if people were finding this 11k video at the start... It would then tip out into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So every every view on that first video could be up to nine views if I can get them to watch the whole vlog or the whole guide. So there's another angle. And this also started to introduce me to the idea that there's a social element to YouTube. And I didn't know about Twitch or anything like that. That there's a social element to these games. So people are interested in just you playing. So, which was a surprise to me. But I do understand that when I was young, we, me and my friends would come around a house. We'd sit on the end of the bed and we'd watch the game together. So, uh, people were continuously asking me for a Discord account. But I didn't know what a Discord was. Um, again, so I hope you're taking some of the things that I'm not doing here. And, and learning by my mistakes. So you need a Discord. You need thumbnails. You should be editing your videos. But anyhow, the vlog continues. And my free-to-play... I mean, some of them, you say, the vlogs... Um, what's interesting with the vlogs is... Uh, they were starting to... Although the views weren't high, but they were high-quality views. And they were people that were, A, watching the whole video. B interacting with me giving me messages and encouragement uh, and also asking for discord a lot of the time let's keep going a little more more than gems so trying to pick out uh you see more than gems is the name of an event in my game and as you say definitely events get views so 1.6 there you're more likely to get into the algorithm because of course people have uh, searched for the event what is more than gems etc <coughs> right let's continue vlog style carrying on alliance jump project what i want is here now best kingdom to make a jumper account on the 15th of september this is where i started to track an event called Plus Glory in the game, so that I could then go to Reddit and I made a series regular posts on Reddit where it was just information. I was saying the best kingdom to start your jumper account in as of today is this here. Then in the video, I'd say these are the events that are available, including the Plus Glory 20 gold heads. This is what you're going to get. And this uh, is, if you go through, I've done, I, you'll see that I do this 
Best Kingdom to make a jumper. Keep going. Oh, New Journey. That's another vlog style where I'm trying to beat my last. Uh, let's say you'll notice there we are. Best Kingdom to make a jumper. So I was getting a regular post on Reddit that wasn't getting negative views. People were saying thank you. And it also got me into the jumper discords or or people that were restarting the game's discords. Now here's a couple of smash hits. Now I used to play with a guy in the game who was highly experienced. He was involved in account selling uh, and he was a Russian account to, to sell. And he taught me how to exploit the strategic reserve event to win uh, with no action points spent. Now, this video was my first super duper viral like video. It also got picked up by another community leader. So a large YouTuber within the community reached out to me and said, can I borrow this video? Can I use your video? Now remember, people copying your content, as Mr. Beast would tell you, is overpowered. So he took this video, he did a lot better than 11k views, but he steered 168 subscribers into my channel. He said, this guy's very good at the early game. I recommend him. And you'll then see the power of somebody who's got some real followers. Uh, so 168 uh, to me was, it like took me from 500 to like near 700 subscribers, which was ginormous. Now, here's my next smash hit. Again, there's no talking in this video, which is interesting, against what I said about the transcript. But clearly, it's a video where it's, look at me, look what I can do, which is a real advert. It's almost like an advert for my channel. Because if you, for a lot of people who are knowledgeable with my game, they would read that and say, that's impossible. Press on it. Wow. Have a look at the channel. Subscribe. Ask a question. How did he do it? Oh, there's a whole vlog of how we got to here. So that was really, really good. New Journey 703. Uh, look at this. 1.1 million in the first 20 hours of New Kingdom. I mean, how that's only got 1.3 million, 1.3 view, K views, I have no idea. But again, I'm still not doing thumbnails. I'm still not editing. Um, but again... This vlog's doing a lot better. Personal best for 1.5 million. Now, personal best is almost like going back to the, how the speed run got into the algorithm. Personal bests uh, for maybe gaming channels, maybe that's a generic strong term, which the algorithm knows. Because all games will have some generic beginner's guide. Game power fast. New personal best. Rush power. Think about things that have been regularly searched for your game. So first week power push. This is just like a vlog style. But here, my last vlog, I was quite happy with five or 600. But look, I'm getting a 1,000 per video now. I'm starting to get more likes, more comments, more real interaction. Now, this is where... Um, exploiting the beginners teleporting again exploiting is a powerful word uh, this didn't really pick up but it watch out for that word exploiting flex for the this is just so new personal best 1.8 which is pretty good for me at this time I haven't even got a thousand subs yet lucky gold chests uh, that was kind of like before we had shorts that was a short Eve of the Crusade. Uh, that's an event. Pass. Day one. Kingdom versus kingdom. So the problem with this is. I was an expert in the early game. And I started making kingdom versus kingdom. Which is like the next stage of the game. Shall we call it. And of course. Uh, it doesn't really work for me. Because I mean. I'm not the, an expert on it. Also. Um. I then really found that uh, if I wanted to build this channel, I needed to stay in the early game. So I have often just restarted my account, just doing better and better. 
And the better I do, the more feedback I get, the more viewers I get, or the more interest I get. Easy achievements for jumpers. Again, this is going KVK, not an expert, 500 odd views. Back onto a subject that I am an expert, early game jumping strategy, 2.7. That's big for me at the time. Extra gems. Again, this is early game. Past glory stage 3, King T8. So that's still KVK. Do you see how this is dying though? 500. It's not what people were wanting. Uh, KVK. Farm. Fast farm using past glory. Uh, exploiting. I keep trying to use this word because I had such a success of that exploiting video a while back. I, I keep trying to find another using this exploit word because it certainly can. It, the algorithm likes that word, but it needs to have value in the video. Rock Greek Geek. These are videos that I really made for myself. I knew they weren't going to be successful if it says Rock Geek. But for my core, my absolute core of followers, it was the sort of content they want. Best Kingdom to make a jumper from. Here I am, I'm regularly making this video. As you notice, it's getting quite a lot of interaction for a 2.2 minute video. And what's good about these viewers is they're not my regular viewers. These are coming from Reddit. This is where Reddit started to think I had value. It was pushing to my, my comment on Reddit. Uh, and then anyone who was doing a jumper would find this video highly, highly, highly valuable, but only on that day. Uh, where are we? Recovery mode. L limping along. Ah, planning my next jump. Obviously, I stopped playing this account because it isn't what people wanted. The views were telling me. The algorithm was telling me, stop making KVK content. So I did. And I went to do another jump. Bang, 1.6. That's another one of my <laughs> um, pads and talking videos, but I don't care. Uh, hold the door. That's me just... That's the end of my KVK journey. That's me using the exploit word again. Still haven't had another smash hit with it. Let's keep going. Right, a new vlog. Uh, Fort Buddy. Now, this died at the time... But Fort Buddy is one of the first terms that I created myself. There's another one later where I create a term called Sleeper. And these are fantastic. So, if you're getting good at a game, starting to get some traction, if you create a new term or a new strategy, give it a name, start talking about it. And what would be good is you will then be the top search for that term. Now Fort Buddy didn't really catch on. And, and there was various other names you could give this. Obviously people usually just called it a, a farm account. Or, or an extra account. But I started calling it a Fort Buddy. Because I was using a farm in a different way. Um, here's and again one of my next smash hits. Uh, people kept asking for longer videos. Please make more longer content. So I did. I made an hour video of my new jump with no edits. And this is in the algorithm. This gets views almost every week. Um, although some of the information is now out of date because it's one year old. Let's go. So this is a new jump. So new jump at 1.7. 2K. I'm starting to get more interest uh, at the start of the, uh, the start of the game with the jumper. And I started to become the jumper expert i made a niche for myself rock geek um which is uh when will a new kingdom start that does quite well i think that's regularly searched so i say this is me trying to get into the algorithm because you vlog style content the problem is you get so many views and then it dies where if you can try and get into the search when does a new kingdom start uh, then you can get constant views weekly and that's really building the back office or the, the engine room of your channel. So new jump, 1,000k. Look, I'm getting 1,000k a video now. 
Uh, Best Kingdom to make a jumper. Even that's going up from Reddit. That was regularly two, three, four hundred. Now that's nearly seven hundred. So I'm starting to get Reddit is starting to feed into me. 170 and Discords, of course. So because some of these jump groups were very large. So let's say a big jump group was going a restart group that is is going on the fifth of December, and he sh- and they and the leaders of that Discord share this. That could be 300 views. So we're going a new start. Jump day, 3.2. So what's the algorithm telling me? Make jumper content. Make start of game free to play content. That's what people want. Make it and the algorithm will reward you. Rock Basics, helping your alliance in the first week of a new kingdom. Well, that's done really well. But I think that must have got into the discords. Uh, That's actually a really good video. At the time, it didn't do very well, but it clearly got into the Discords. Uh, So Discords is like a a forum-type app, in case you don't know. Uh, Can I solo? This is... I mean, that's a geeky video, but that one's done all right. Um, Here we are, regularly getting... Look, almost regularly 1,500 there. Best Kingdom to make a rock video. My regular series on Reddit, 800 views. Like I said, that's new, mainly that's new people coming in, not just being found on YouTube. Can I cheat the Christmas event? That's me trying to put a different... <laughs> Here I am, exploit sunset. Yep, never got another smash it off exploiting, but it can work, but you've got to find a real exploit. Uh, welcome to the channel. I made a channel video. I'm still not doing thumbnails. I'm still not editing. Um collecting the monument twice. Uh look, I made some content then about one of the mini games. No one's interested. Don't make content about the mini games. We didn't I've done one of my this was a bit of a geeky and just for one event, so that hasn't done very well. Exploiting redeem codes. Well that should have been a smash hit, but nobody watched it. Um protecting the supplies. These are just events. So let's keep going. I'm not doing money jump recommendation. These are still going. Still people having people in from Reddit jump recommendation. And also what it does is content that makes itself. That it was just a two minute easy content. And they say it was building my channel. New personal best. So new personal bests. These definitely get interest. 2.5. People are interested in achievements you can't just be an average player let's make the so i am making the presumption whatever game you're interested in you are at least good at it um planning so i've got a few right what's this one belarus rampage well this is interesting this is just one with music but it seemed to pick up so i think it's got a commander name in it and maybe people search for commander's name but that got into the algorithm with no speaking so which interests me because that is just gameplay here we are your account is full of mistakes so this is interesting this is a negative title so i did start to learn a bit more about youtube and the algorithm and to have a negative tinge to your title can bring in views. That's an interesting tip that not many people knew. I've had a go at streaming because people were asking for me to stream. 100, 100 million kill points, KVK1, free to play. Why this video has only got 2.8k is I've made the title to... This is where the title is so important. This video should have done a lot better. 100 million kill points, KVK1 free to play is interesting. But somehow I've named it incorrectly. Maybe if this had a thumbnail of 100 million kills free to play, because sometimes I guess maybe people haven't read the title. What I might do is rename this video and give it a thumbnail. Interesting to see if I could get this back into the algorithm. So a new jump, I invite people with me. Oh, rate my jumper. So I started a series where I asked people to send me a little video of their jumper account and I spoke over it and rated it and set up a rating. And these videos did all right. 
But this is community and social interaction. I think I must have a Discord by now. And so I have a way of talking to people. Uh, I then decided to make Sunset Canyon is uh, an event within the game, but it's a regular event. And I decided to make a masterclass. And that wasn't super successful. Uh, oh, I don't know. It was a huge amount of work and nobody really watched it near the end. Yeah. So, but you've got to say, Sunset Canyon is really important within my game. But if people aren't searching it, it's not what they want. I still battled through and finished it though. Uh, now, obviously, I've, I'm getting a thousand views on it, but remember, I'm starting to gain some traction now. Maybe I've got 1,500 to 2,000 subscribers. I'm starting to build a channel. I regularly get in a thousand K views. Uh, let's go. Let's see where the next, we want the next popular video. I'm making some shorts. They all bombed. I don't think people who play deep strategy games want shorts. And it's not like I've got, you know, our game hasn't really got the, where you've killed two people in a 2v1 sort of situation, which some games really lend themselves to shorts, and mine didn't. So 800k tier 4, and look, I'm starting to make thumbnails. I'm starting to use a logo. I, I, uh, somebody gave me this logo. Here we go, 1.5 million, possible first week, 3.7. So I'm starting to look like a YouTube channel. I'm starting to get a brand with a like a logo. Uh, 1.5 million, 25%. I'm then doing the vlogs are looking a lot more, uh, a lot more sexy. Kid in 100k tier 5 on my own. That's a good video. Don't know. But I'm starting to do thumbnails. Uh, I'm starting to look a lot more like a channel. Um, right. Tips and strategies for hitting the 1.5 million. Again, this is the cornerstone of my account. The search term 1.5 million. The search term jumper. The search term past glory jumper. I... I Manage to tell the algorithm or demonstrate to the algorithm that I uh, am giving quality tips and information on these search terms and the algorithm rewarded me by building my channel. Uh, here we are, another vlog style, day one. No jump, new start, farm helps. I don't know what this means, I can't remember doing it. But I'm 11 months ago. Oh, here we go. Sleeper. So, originally, Sleeper was called No Jump Start. <laughs> but that's a terrible name. So I created this term, Sleeper Strategy. And this is 11 months ago. And if you were to go to the largest YouTuber in my space, uh, a guy called Chisgall, you will find that he recently made a video using this term. And this really uh, has been really has been the next step for my channel because uh no matter how hard or how much quality content i made around jumping i'll still be bulldozed by the big guys in the search terms or if you were to search jump jumper account rise of kingdoms you'd still bring the big boys up at the top but sleeper strategy which i created was a search term where i was at the top and the big boys, although maybe they're probably pushing me off now, in the top 10 of this search term, I'm all over it. And this is now my bread and butter. This is when I started that up until the sleeper strategy, um, if I was to stop making content, my, you know, AdSense and my views would go, would drop and drop and drop and drop to almost nothing. But with this sleeper, um, since I've started making sleeper content, even if I stop uploading, I've got enough content now in the background, especially with the search, people searching this term, because now the sleeper strategy is a new way of restarting the game. And so that means big groups gather to restart the game. They're going to do the sleeper method instead of the jumper method. They then have their Discord. Their Discord steers out to me. 
and that keeps pumping new subscribers in even if i'm not making content now this video this channel is almost at the stage where it can grow on its own by a couple of hundred subscribers in a month without me making videos uh so i'm kind of regularly getting one 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 and a half thousand uh a video uh, some of my vlog style ones are not getting much action here, but this is day 12 of the vlog, so I'm slightly overdoing it. And the problem is, though, is this day isn't much different to this day. So that was a mistake to over-vlog. You've got to have something to say. So I stopped doing that, I hope. Here was another successful video. That got into the algorithm. But in a minute, there was a huge change to the game. And it really messed up all of my old content. There's me trying to get the exploit term again. Didn't happen. Now, there's a good video. People keep asking me for long, longer videos. <coughs> so, that video got into the algorithm. That's a good one. That gets regular views. Uh, I start to use my Discord, start to do my own project, uh, but it's very difficult. Another exploit video. Right, where are we? 1.5 million challenge. Where did all the speed ups? So, they changed the game, and this 1.5 million has always been important to my channel, but... Uh, they made changes to the game that made it almost impossible to get. I thought it was impossible. But I managed to remind myself that impossible is only impossible until somebody does it. And I started getting the 1.5 million again. And in a moment, we're going to get my how-to video, which is my top video. Where is it? Another sleeper. Here we are. 44,000 views. So this video is properly in the algorithm that uh, it it because no one else is making 1.5 million skin free to play guides um, and I, I've got a total niche um, and as say it was something that was thought to be impossible a couple of months ago and I started I learned how to do it and say this is my crown in the jewels. This channel, this video brings in the most views to my channel every 48 hours. And it's almost like my bread and butter. So, I say, vlog style content, brilliant. Streaming and making friends and having a Discord. But if you can get into the algorithm. But it's really important that you can't hack or cheat the algorithm. You need to understand that, let's say you're smart and you can play a chess game and you can play two three moves ahead in a chess game because you're very smart i promise you the guys that made the youtube algorithm are the sort of people that can play 10 moves ahead in a chess game they're geniuses but if you make something that answers a question thoroughly um the algorithm will pick you up and you just have to have faith in that that like quality content or uh even within a niche you can make it. Let's keep going. This is just now my modern day account. I'm always, uh, I think my, um, uh, my, 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 uh, I've oh no. Sorry about this. Aliens together asks, why have you got seed? Right. So this is now my modern day account. Uh, I don't play as much as I used to, but uh, the channel is almost growing on its own now. Um, so it's exciting. It's highly rewarding. And I really recommend you make a YouTube channel. I hope me rambling for this time has helped you. Helped you learn how I started. Or some of the things I did to get to where I am now. Thanks for watching. That's all.